Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Robinson from WPI. Just want to put you guys through a workout here. Try to go about 30 minutes hard. Stationary ball handling, get ourselves loose here. Low and quick, low and quick. Get a feel for that ball. You want to push it into the ground, follow through. Control the ball. Control the ball. Why? Keep moving, keep your feet moving. In and out, cross. Head up, I'm looking at, looking at the camera. My head up. And now you go, I'm back. Keep moving now. Once you get loose, start to change pace a little bit. Quick, 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 quick. Boom. Quick. 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 Away. Oh. Okay. It was like get a little figure eight in there. Better every day. Going quick. Stay with me. Straight through again. Dribbles. Body rock with the ball. Get loose now. Let's get loose. A little tight. No cross. Let's go single dribble, figure eight. Build up and go as quick as we can. You have to keep your feet shifting. Other way. Good. Now we're going to burn out. Quick dribble moves, low and tight. 30 seconds. Ready? You want to do it now. Be creative. Your warm up. Get your foot speed going. So we're going to go figure eights. Keep those two balls going. Warm up our shot a little bit. We're gonna get short jump shots. How we're gonna do that? We're gonna go spin the ball out, catch, face up, rip, one two dribbles, get to two feet, elevate, 
short jumper. We're going to make 10 of those to start just like this. Ready to shoot. Cat's ready to shoot. Remember, he's had a big cut. Set it up, fake away, ready to shoot. Now you want to be creative, be crafty when you're getting in the paint. Mix up what you're doing. Make 10. Next thing we're going to do, same thing, but off the bounce. So quick dribble move from the outside towards the volleyball line area. Quick move, attack, get downhill, stop on a dime, elevate, balance, knock it down. Here we go. Make 10. Into your shot. Downhill. Stop the time. Balance. Knock it down. It's one. Make it 10. More for me. Now, same thing we did to start. Throwing the ball out, faking away, catching, ready to shoot. One, two dribble, pull up. A little bit deeper this time, around the free throw line, 15 feet, that type of area. Got to make 10. Now you're going hard. Go hard into your shot, hard fake, little shot fake, jab game, mix it up. Put the ball on the floor like you're going to score it and stop on a dime. Knock it down. Here we go. Oh, take the line. Ready to shoot. Take the line. Push the ball out by the defense.
balance it from right to left. Go to put that ball on the floor, you want to have your shoulders down, going downhill, stop on the dime. Now we're going off the live dribble. Quick move. One dribble, get by the defender. Stop on a dime, elevate, pull up. Great reps. Get great reps. Okay, hold your balance, hold your follow through. Here we go. Make 10. You make it 10. And the last one, before we get a drink real quick, you gotta make 10. You gotta toss it out to yourself. Catch around the free throw line area. You gotta face up hard. Be a threat to shoot. Work your jab game. But this time, we're attacking the finish. Now you can mix up your finishes. Work on your inside foot, outside foot finishes, zero step, two foot, reverse floaters, mix it up, get better. Only count good reps. If you mess up, take it back, do it again. No bad reps. Make 10, I'll do a couple to demonstrate. Starting this area here. I'm gonna catch a little bit extended beyond the elbow. We'll meet that pass. Open up to the basket, strong. Get a little creative now. You can take the hand off, open up that jab for here. You don't want to open yourself up too far like this. Defense retracts your face. Open up to the rim. This foot's protected, right? It gives me that little space if I want to fire. I get on my face up and I attack. Here we go. Go, face up. I'm at my this side, right? I don't usually like to turn my back to pivot. I can tell players you like to pivot off your left foot, circle around, get into your jab game. If you insist on pivoting off your right foot on this side, Open up for the inside. Here we go. Get going now. Have an imagination. Oh. Gotta have an imagination. It's the only way to get back. Watch the rip through. Make the rip through. They don't knock it. Cross off. The outside foot finish. 
maybe a little slower than your defender. You may have a little more foot speed, foot speed quickness. You get that little advantage going downhill here. I'll leave a little bit early with a little feel, scoop it in. That. All right, good stuff, Dr. Drake. All right, this next drill is just going to be a two ball finishing drill. So you're going to work on your speedier moves, being able to handle both those basketballs, get the basket. Now you're going to mix up what you're doing. We're going to start off by picking up the inside ball, finishing with the outside basketball. All right, and that's going to mirror holding off the defender, all right, using your inside hand to protect, go up to finish. You'll kind of see as we go through a couple of examples here how that plays out. But you got to make it real. You got to have an imagination. All right, you got to challenge yourself. All right, so let's make 10 here to start. 10 really good reps. Just start out by the volleyball line and attack from there with two basketballs. All right, here we go. Starting out here, we got two balls. Work on checking the ball with that outside hand. All right, once you get more comfortable, you can really move the ball around, make it more realistic. Two balls in. Ten. And now building off that, now you're gonna jump off your outside foot. All right, this is gonna be really good in getting you to develop that outside foot quick finish. Okay, you're only gonna go out to the free throw line, make a quick move, and finish. You gotta make ten. All right, watch. Now we want to get some rep shooting in now that we got a lot of stuff off the dribble, a lot of stuff off the catch. We're going to go star shooting first. It's a drill I really like because you can alter it. You can go mid-range, you can go threes. But what I like to do with it is make it really game-like. So I put four cones out on the court, a couple outside the elbows, a couple outside the blocks. And that's going to enable us to use different types of screens all right, with our imagination as we go through the drill. So we're going to end up curling the elbows. We're going to fade out from the corners. I'll talk you through it as I go. If you have a partner, if somebody can rebound for you, great. You can alternate. Um, what you want to do now is you're going to go through the pattern until you hit 10, and that's going to be a set. All right. Now the goal is to do five sets. You got to mix up mid-range, threes, that type of thing. All right, so here we go. Start shooting. So I got to make 10. 
start the corner. But typically, you'd have a rebound. Shot, curl around the opposite room, back around the inside, get my rebound, curl around the other elbow, and I'm sprinting down, I'm going to fade off that corner, or jump the corner, and I'm going to set up my defender, and I'm going to come off those chip cones, back like a stagger, off for a jump at the top. And I continue that path with my legs. Curl. Oh, Johnny Bone. Yeah, right. Now. Curl. Two. Now, it's a little tricky on your own. You know. Make a fade. And this is a stagger. Right? Off the stagger. Mess that up a little bit. Eight. See how good it can be with a rebounder. That's ten. That's one set. A little tricky on your own. You try to go five sets. All right, make it realistic. Working on your foot speed, getting around curls, working on reading different screens. All right, have an imagination, especially if you have a partner. Really open your chest to the court. Wait. Don't just rush through it. Wait. Come off it. Into your shot. Make it real. It's such thing that I believe is when I was younger, I was so, so set in my mind with making a certain number of shots that they became what I call like cautious reps. Okay, when you're shooting to make it rather than really shooting with great form and that game speed so that when you get in a game, it just doesn't translate. So you've got to shoot game-like shots, okay? Now let's work on a little ball screen usage. Get to the basket, pulling up, counter move to attack. All right, now you want to set this up and really practice coming off the ball screen tight. Now again, you got to have imagination. So I set up two cones here as the ball screen, then a third cone that's out a little bit further behind me. All right, and that's going to force me to come off the ball screen tight, okay, and be sharp with my handle. So let's get reps now. Let's get 10 reps from this side. Mix up what I'm doing. Mix up how I'm attacking. Here we go. Here your coach set up right for you. Take the defender down. Some creativity. It'll be quick move.
now we're going to work the other side of the court. And I've positioned the cones this time a little bit further in. Ball screen's being set more in the middle of the court. And I got my other cone that's going to force me to come off tight a little bit more towards me now. So I'm turning the corner. Ten reps. Below the ball screen, you're going to use it. Sometimes you got to get a tight, low dribble, push it through, split. Playing against different defense. Playing against defense hedges. Ball screen. Comes out. I want to attack that hedge. Bounce around it and either kick out. Or I'm going to attack. Now the defense downs it. To use it, the red is not letting me use it. I want to attack that five man. I put pressure on him that I can be a playmaker, I can finish. Hello. Imagination. Listen. Eight, 10 reps. One thing I think is really important now is playing, being able to play at a mid post in the elbow area, and even just at the three point line, being able to attack with power and physicality. Now, you may say, hey, there's no defender. Like, how am I supposed to be physical? You can be physical with the way that you drill without having any dummy defense, any contact. You play with, with an edge, with a toughness, with a sharpness about you. Okay, and you'll see when we're going through this drill that everything's going to be done hard so that if there was defense there, it wouldn't impact what we're trying to accomplish. All right, so you're going to face up hard. You're going to jab hard. You're going to shot fake hard. When you drive, you're not going to always look to get around the defense, right? What we try to tell our guys is watch a lot on film. You get somebody on your hip. You have to be physical and attack them to get in front. You have to attack their body. You're not going to get called for an offensive foul if you're shoulder to shoulder with somebody. Okay, unless you completely get out of hand and just drop the shoulder and dig it right into them. But you can be low so that when you're getting around somebody, you can fight for that space that you want to go. And most of the time, it's going to result in a foul. We'll see it'll be a little bit more visible when you're going through this. So we're going to go mid-post series. I can catch face up and shoot. I can catch face up and attack. I can counter whatever I want to do. I want you guys to do 10 reps, 10 makes from each side. I'm going to do five makes from each side. Okay, just to show you what we're looking for. Here we go. Physical finish with no defense. That's a physical jab.
and what we just did that jive the post that you see in Villanova's game, really popular in today's game. So watch again. I to make my move and I'm cut off my defender. Now all of a sudden, quick turn, keep the low dribble under control. Then I can be a playmaker, I can see the whole court. Right. A couple reps from the other side. Watch now as I approach. Get that ball. Okay, so last workout we did street shooting, which was a minute and a half, see how many spots you can knock off. To knock off a spot, you need to make three in a row. Now you start in the corner, then you go wing, top of the key, wing, corner, corner again, and then work your way back, and see how many spots you can knock off. Today, we're gonna do unlimited streak, which is you got your five spots. You start with a make in the corner, and you keep shooting until you miss. Count up your makes, then you move to the next spot. Keep shooting until you miss, then you move to the next spot. Keep shooting until you miss. See how many you can compile off those five spots. Now, the first spot, you start on a make. Every other spot, you just start. So if I move to the wing and I miss, that's done. Now I'm moved to the top of the key. All right, so you gotta kinda get really get in a rhythm here. Again, there's a, there's a goal when you have a rebounder and you set yourself a goal when you're doing it by yourself. All right, so we're gonna start with mid-range, but I want you guys to do two sets of mid-range and then two sets of threes. All right, here we go. Thank you. 